What's up guys, welcome back to another Top 10 Tuesday here on Signal Ridge. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 favorite arcade games of all time with a heavy focus on the 80s and 90s. Let's do this! And at number 10, we got the Simpsons Arcade Game. This game has to be on everybody's list. I just remember stacking up quarters on the side of the machine. Uh, you know, to, that's what you did back then if you wanted to get next on the game. It was, it was four player, it was intense, and it had this ability to, I guess, uh, to use special moves between players. Uh, and of course, growing up in the 90s, um, I was very familiar with the Simpsons uh, cartoon and most of those characters make an appearance in this video game so that was super cool and at number nine we got metal slug what can i say about this game it's visceral it's it's fast paced um and you know the, the weapons that you get are amazing i love the shotgun it's my favorite hands down any metal slug game that's what i well the flame flow is actually pretty cool too but it was just it was a great game and of course they build on that in the later uh, Metal Slug games, but but of course I'm gonna have the first one on this list because that is what started it all. And at number eight, you were really fortunate if you got to play this game in the arcade. Uh, emulation doesn't do it justice, and that is Afterburner 2. I was really fortunate in that the arcade in particular that I played it at had a a functioning seat that would kind of move. Um, I don't know if they were all like that, but it was it was pretty awesome. And you know, back then, Top Gun was probably one of the best films of that era. If you were in anything like me as a kid, um, that movie made you want to be a fighter pilot when you grew up. So, and of course, the game helped you, you know, live that out. And at number seven, we got Aliens vs. Predator by Capcom. If you're lucky and you can afford the Capcom Home Arcade stick that's out now, you can actually play this game. Uh, it's phenomenal. There was an, an SNES Aliens vs. Predator, but in, in no way, shape, or form compares with this game. This game is vastly superior in every way. You have a ton of variety when it comes to the types of aliens that you fight. So you have four characters to choose from. There's a human based on the comics. There are two predators, um, and I think the chief difference between them is the spear that they, the type of spear that they carry. Um, but there, I think there are some move differences as well. And then of course, I believe there's there's Dutch Schaefer from the from the original film. Of course, he looks way different, and he has a robotic arm. But um, and I don't know if he's like a descendant of the original Dutch or what's going on there. But it's a freaking awesome game. You need to play it. And at number six, we got Mortal Kombat 2. I'm not all that familiar with Mortal Kombat 1, at least in the arcade. I just remember I played this game quite a bit. Um, and of course, the, the fatalities were expanded upon, which was super awesome. The characters look a lot better, particularly um, Sub-Zero and Scorpion. And you had the appearance of Reptile for this first time, I believe. And it, there, was just, there wasn't anything like it in terms of a fighting game. This game made Street Fighter look G-rated. And at number five, we have the oldest game on this list, and that is Pac-Man. It's a simplistic game, but even in the 21st century, you can go back and you can find yourself playing through, you know, five, six, seven levels, which I think is a testament to how good the game really is. Number four, Street Fighter II Champion Edition. This game is slightly different than its predecessor in that you can play as the four main bosses. So you have M. Bison, you have Balrog, Vega, and Sagat. No matter what fighting game is your go-to, everybody owes Street Fighter some form of thanks because in actuality, this is what gave rise to, to you know, arcade fighting games. And that's, I mean, what more is there to say? And at number three, we got Sunset Riders. There's great music, 
Uh, the gameplay is amazing. You got four players to choose from. They each have different types of weapons. Um, I believe one has a shotgun. Another has two pistols. I believe one uh, player has a lever action rifle. There are sequences where you're running on top of cows. I mean, how, how can you beat that? Number two, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you got the money in your pocket, you might want to consider going out there and purchasing one of these arcade one-up uh, cabinets because this game was amazing and from what I'm hearing out there from some of my friends and some of my fans it's a great cabinet to own you know it's the first one to be four players and not only that but you also get access to turtles in time so something to definitely consider for those of you out there that don't have an arcade of your own you had an appearance by virtually every single cartoon character the soundtrack is awesome we all know again konami knows what they're doing and i should mention this game gave rise to one of the best arcade ports on the nes and that of course is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Tremendous game, not enough can be said about it. Before we get to number one, here are a few honorable mentions. And finally, at number one, we have another game released by Konami, and that is X-Men. I grew up uh, a poor kid in Ohio and just outside of Cincinnati. And my one of the things my mom would do is she would save every last dime to take my brother, my sister, and I to a Holiday Inn just outside of Cincinnati or just outside of Dayton. I can't remember where it was because um, I was like you know eight years old at the time. But she would take us there and they had an, <clears throat> an indoor pool and an arcade. And I remember going to the arcade and this they actually had the six player cabinet there um, which was a sight to see if you've never seen it um, it actually had two huge CRT televisions inside the cabinet and one of the CRT televisions had to be placed um, basically facing I guess I guess it was backwards and it had to have a, a mirror that overlapped the bezel of the other TV uh, I guess the little the black piece so that way it would look like a solid one solid screen um, but you know I don't want to get too technical it was just an amazing experience to have five other people playing this game with you um, that's what that would give you the full experience hopefully hopefully arcade one up comes out with the their own rendition of it arcade one up if you're listening I think it'd be a great idea to do a X-Men Sunset Riders and Simpsons arcade it would just make sense Alright guys, so that's it for me on this Top 10 Tuesday edition here on Signal Ridge. Please leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video, uh, along with a comment featuring your favorite arcade game of all time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch you guys next time.